Okay, this is a video on how to set up your AT&T internet service uh, with CCT type software. Um, this is a S18 right here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to your menu and make sure your SIM card is in the phone and you have a AT&T internet service for this to work. You want to go down to browser on other CCT type uh, phones. It's usually uh, under services. Go ahead and go to browser and go to data account. Then go to GPRS and then select your first selection. You can actually select the, any of the selections, but I chose the first one. It's probably China Mobile or something like that. Go ahead and press edit and then select account name and then press edit. Like I said it was probably China Mobile before. I cleared that and then just plugged in. You can just plug in whatever you want to plug. You can pretty much call it anything. I called it AT&T GPRS all lowercase. And then press options and press done. And go down to your APN, select edit. It's going to be something different, so go ahead and clear that and plug in WAP.singular. Then press options and press done. Username and password are going to be left blank. Then authorization type is going to be secure. Default's probably normal, so just hit the arrow key once to secure, and then press done. It will ask to save. Press yes, and then go back, and then go back again, then go to WAP. Go to settings. Go to edit profile. Go to SIM one. And then I chose the first selection and then go to edit profile the rename profile is going to be something other than AT&T probably China Mobile so I'll just select that and press edit clear what was there before and plug in ATT or whatever you want to, you can pretty much call it anything then press options then done and go down to your home page press edit and then plug in http colon backslash backslash device dot home and press options done and we'll go to data account and it will probably be something different just select that and go to GPRS and then select your ATT GPRS. This is what you set up in the beginning. That's why we did the data account first. So you select that and it'll show up under number three. Then connection type. It's probably HTTP. Um, but go ahead and select it. And then select WAP. And then press OK. Then plug in the IP address which is 066 two zero nine zero one one zero six one and then go to security hit the arrow and press on and go back username and password are left blank then press done it'll ask to save say yes and go ahead and go to activate profile and say activated and there should be a check mark next to the account you just edited and go back 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 and then select your home page and that should bring you onto the internet now we'll go to our MMS settings we'll go up to the messaging icon right next to the dialer your SMS is already set up for texting. You don't have to do anything for that. So we'll go ahead and go to MMS. 
and then we'll go to MMS settings and then we'll go to server profile sim1 and then we'll select the top selection and then edit profile and rename profile is going to be something different so you just go to edit clear whatever was there probably China MMS I plugged in ATT MMS and then go to options done then home page go ahead and edit it it's probably something different so just clear it and then plug in HTTP colon backslash backslash MMSC dot singular dot com and then press options and then done and go to data account and select that and GPRS and then select your ATT GPRS which you set up before then you go to connection type and select and select HTTP for this one press OK and plug in 066.209.011.0 and go down to your proxy port and put in 8080 press OK press done it'll ask to save and press yes and then go activate a profile it'll say activated and there'll be a green check mark next to your ATT MMS and go back back Back. and then you can go ahead and write your MMS that's it